Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom, and I'm honored to be joining you again this week. Here's my question for us this week. When someone offends you, how do you respond? Do you get defensive or do you go on the offensive? Well, God's word has a lot of wisdom to speak to that particular issue. Listen to these words from Proverbs 19, 11. It said, a person's wisdom yields patience. It is to one's glory to overlook an offense. Now, when we talk about that word offense, we're not talking about a crime. So when someone commits a crime against us, we know that we are called to report it within the extent of the law. But what the verse here is talking specifically about is an offense. It's those normal things that come up during the day when somebody wrongs you. Maybe for someone forgets to call you or to text you. Or maybe it's something that somebody says. Maybe it's words that are spoken, words that are texted, that are offensive to you. Or even somebody does something that offends you. Maybe you're driving and somebody cuts you off in traffic. That's the kind of offense we're talking about here. So what does God's word say? We're called to overlook it, to let it go, to don't count it against the person. And why do we do that? Because we he see here that it's to one's glory, which means to our benefit to be people that are quick to overlook offense instead of being people that are always going on the offense offensive. And so here's just a couple of thoughts. Wisdom is the key. Wisdom helps us grow in patience. And what's the source of wisdom? We know ultimately it's God. And we know also it's God's word, the weekly wisdom that we get, the daily wisdom that we get from God and his word. And the second thought is this, being more patient and forgiving is glorifying to Jesus. It's good for us and it's great for our relationships. So here's my challenge for us this week is this, when, not if, someone offends us, that we don't become defensive and we don't go on the offensive. Instead, we go to higher ground. We give it to God in prayer. We ask God when somebody offends us, how should I respond? What should I say, if anything? So we give it to God. Second is we also give the other person the benefit of the doubt. We give the other person the benefit of the doubt. We don't know what they're going through. We don't know what they've been walking through, but we give that person the benefit of the doubt. And lastly, we forgive. We forgive as we have been forgiven. Just as Jesus freely forgives us, we should be people ready to forgive when somebody offends us or slights us. And so, Lord Jesus, this is our prayer, that we would be quick to overlook offenses, that we would be quick to forgive, and that we would love you, Jesus, and as we love you and learn from you, that we would grow in wisdom and grow in patience to help us glorify you, to help ourselves grow as your believers, and also to build great relationships. Jesus, we pray this in your name, amen. Well, amen, and if you are a member of Shoreline Church, we look forward to seeing you on Sunday, whether it's online or on campus. Our services are 9 and 11, and if you're a member of another local church, we are so thankful that you've joined us, and we, we're excited that you're going to go join your local church this coming Sunday as well. God bless you, and have a great week.